Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. And we are very glad to have an opportunity to present this speech at the Higgins Boys Conference. Today, the subject of our presentation is how to hack intelligent building. First, please let me introduce myself and my teammate. Um, I'm Wuhui Yu, you can communicate. I'm Bug Hunter, winner of Chikpan 2050, speaker of POC 2017. And this is my blog. And um, this is my teammate, Ni Yu Xiang. You can hear him anyway. His major experience is in mobile security and find several vulnerabilities in Android. He is also a former ROI safety member, and this is his Twitter. And uh, we are from come from Tencent team. Our security research team comes from Tencent Security Platform Department. Now we are focus on security research of AI, IoT, and mobile devices. And we have found more than 17 security vulnerabilities, such as Google, Apple, and Adobe. And our, research, our team's research output has been widely used in Tencent products. OK. Before we start our presentation, let's take a brief look at the agenda. Our speech we are divided into two parts, and I will talk about the first part, which mainly includes introduction to intelligent building and the automatic attack on ZigBee network. My teammate, Enya, will talk about the second part, which mainly includes protocol attack on KNX network and security advice for ZigBee and KNX. OK, uh, in this part, I will introduce to intelligent building. It will be divided into four parts. There are many definitions which intelligent building. Really, we think intelligent building is a building controlled by an advanced smart building management. It contains a number of systems, such as lighting control, fire detection, and access control. These systems are really located in a corner or room of building where you work and live. And there are two main reasons why we chose the intelligent building as our research target. The first reason is there are, many, there are few researchers on the safety of intelligent buildings. And with more and more IoT devices, using in intelligent building, we think its security problem will also become more serious. The second reason is we want to work with the security community to enhance the safety of intelligent building. At the same time, by using different locations, we can also divide the intelligent building into two categories. One is building automation, and the, the other is whole automation. Um, there are many kinds of uh, intelligent building devices, and many, communi uh, and many communication protocols will be used. ZigBee and KNX are the most widely used in intelligent building. Considering the market share, we choose ZigBee and KNX as target for security research. When we first started, we set a small goal for the Blade team, and then we worked together to make it possible. We choose a building with a smart build system, and our target is a more remote attack the smart net control system in this building. After some weeks, we finally did it. Now, let's take a look at our demo video about how to remote attack an intelligent building.
as you can see, uh, we use a DJ dome to remotely control the lights in the building. I know a lot of people want to watch the radio again. Yeah. Okay. Let's play again. Uh, now, let me show you how we did it. The next part is to talk about automatic attack on ZigBee network. Uh, it divided into six parts. ZigBee is uh, one of the main protocols in whole automation. Uh, ZigBee is an open global standard for wireless technology designed to use no power digital radio signals for personal area networks. Uh, ZigBee supports three types of personal area network topologies and three types of devices. Its na network type includes the class tree, star network, and the mesh network. And its device temp include the coordinator, uh, router, and the end device. Uh, the next part is ZigBee security measure. It's well divided into four parts. The first part is ZigBee security features. ZigBee security is based on symmetric uh, key cryptography. ZigBee uses the highly secure T128 bit AIS based encryption. ZigBee's keys are using among layers of the same device. And uh, the same device, um, the same security level for all devices on a given network and all layers of a device. ZigBee commander includes a free counter to stop replay attack. And they can also support access control list. There is three types of ZigBee keys. The first type is NIC key. This unit key shared between two devices and can be used to encrypt unicast message between them. If a device is shared a NIC key with the trust center, it can be used to encrypt the transfer of the network key to encrypt the transfer of the network key to a load join the network. The second type is network key. It is shared between every device on the network and can be used for network layer encryption and protecting broadcast traffic. They can be pre-installed on devices and transported from the trust center. The last time is the mask key. Uh, it's used for SKKE establishment of negative keys, usually uh, pre-installed. To satisfy the wide range of applications we are maintaining no cost and power, ZigBee clients to offer two network security models, distributed and uh, centralized. They differ, the, they differ in how they admit new devices into the network and how they protect messages on the network. A distributed security model provides a nice, secure, and simple system. A centralized security model provides higher security. There are two ways of ZigBee devices drawing a network. Uh, if a node joins the network, it will send a drawing request 
at first. Then the trust center will send the network key to join out at the last. Uh, trust center will establish a secure connection with the node device. Their communications packet will be encrypted um, with the network key. Um, in this flow, the security problem between uh, this flow is that the networking protection depends on link key. Uh, it's very easy to be inter intercepted and uh, decrypted. In another attempt, join node will use a install code that pre program and uh, into join node at the factory as link key. And the install code programmed into the trust center by user. So it will use a unique NIC key to encrypt the communications. It has any secure resistance to attack. The ZigBean specification actually makes a provision for highly secure wireless networks, but the security features are option, optional, and the level of security offered by a ZigBean product depends on which of these features. If any of the product vendor has chosen, a, has chosen to implement, there are some risks on ZigBean devices. The first risk is um, use a well-known security key. For example, uh, the ZigBean Airlines definition the definite, uh, default global net key, uh, Zig the ZigBean Airlines 09, and the Snakecom Labs ZigBean chip use a default pre-configured net key just like the ZigBean security. And uh, it will also use the default network key just like Ember EM 2015 chip. Uh, the second risk is the insecure key transport over the air. In some devices uh, that use all the ZigBean stack, it's, it, it's, it's very easy to sniff the network key if the transport key in clear text. A clarity of the NIC key makes obtaining the network key possible by corporate capture over the air pocket. Uh, the third risk is uh, insecure key storage. Uh, if, the, if in the device uh, firmware or flash chip, uh, card code the key in plain text is, very, um, is a big risk. The fourth uh, risk is in square rejoin and reuse the trust center NIC key. A lot of device can send a rejoin request to the network and the network key will be retransported again. And if the same NIC key used for every join abdomen, uh, it opens up the system to rejoin risk security risk. The last risk is the replay protection bypass. Uh, if the network key is obtained, we can decrypt the network sequencing number and the free counter from the packet. So it, uh, it is uh, autom automatic update to new re review when the packet is injected. So if you want to capture and display ZigBean packets, uh, you need to choose some uh, hardware and software tools. Usually, uh, we use the CC2531 USB dongle to sniff the ZigBean packets. There are also some sniffer software tools, just like Wireshark, uh, packet sniffer, and so on. And uh, there have been some security research, some security researchers who have developed some great uh, ZigBean security testing tools, just like the Killer Bean, Security Bean, and Z3 Security. Uh, their hardware are all based on USRP or the RZ Raven USB stick.
In addition, uh, we, if we want to automatically attack the Bing smart devices in the cities, we need to solve more problems. The first problem uh, is there are a lot of Zigbee devices in a building, and it will take a lot of time to attack. And the power of Zigbee transmitter is limited, which can not cover the whole floor in, at the same time. And the last problem is the um, temper um, Zigbee networks are distributed in different rooms and channels. We can only spray one channel at a time to sniff and send packets. So after some research and testing, we proposed two implements. The first, the first implement is um, support attack multi uh, Zigbee networks quickening. We increase the number of Zigbee sniffer and transmitter devices on Raspberry Pi to accelerate personality network scanning and attack space through multi reading. And the another implement is support batch, con batch attack. We create a visual device in every network that is con connected, and this visual device will, send, will be set a render network address and a MAC address seen as a device in the network. And the network sequence number and frame counter will be started with zero. In most of the Zigbee devices we tested, uh, we, if we use this visual device to send a broadcast packet with correct pen ID. It can be used to batch attack all world devices in Zigbee network. So we have developed a new automatic attack tool. We call it Zombie. This is a Zigbee network automated test security testing tools. It's based on Raspberry Pi 3B and uh, as a river USB stick. Uh, it can be carried in a dorm or any other space that, that can hold a small box. And this is a flow chart of the operation of the entire tour. Uh, it can automatically connect the network worker network information and generate attack payload to complete to uh, complete the attack. And in this slide I made a simple comparison between Zumbi and other tools. Compared with uh, some other tools, the main feature is a uh, is a rich functional and uh, support for batch con batch attacks. Okay, uh, my part is over, and let's take a quick review the this part. First, I introduced the, the intelligent building, then I shared how to attack the Zigbee network. Now, mm, let's um, welcome my teammate, Annie. Thanks, Nikki. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I am Alien. In this part, I will introduce the security research of KNS that's widely used in building automation. I have divided this path into three sections. The first section is introduce KNS secure um, network, and the second, KNS security model. Finally, we will introduce how to attack KNS network. Why we choose KNS as a research goal? Because KNS is widely used communication protocol for building automation. And KNS standard is administrated by the KNS Association. Many manufacturers, including ABB, Siemens, Gray, 
has developed smart device based on CANX, but the research on CANX security is related list. Let us introduce the basic knowledge of CANX. The CANX can be divided into two categories, system devices component and terminal devices. System devices such as light copper, fiber copers, list copers, URL as IP routers, IP interface. Terminal device including sensors, actuators, such as push buttons or an electronic heat wheel. Every CANX network is built from large numbers of CANX devices. There are many types of communications media, such as toy peers, IPs, power lines, and radio frequency. Today, we mainly focus on toy peers and IP. This is the CANX topology. The topology of CANX usually consider device, lines, and area, as so in this slide. The logical topology structures allow 256 devices on one line, and lens lines may be grouped together with a main line into an area. An entire domain is formed by 15 area together with a Bible lines using Bible's area corpus. How to dress things between um, CANX devices? This involves two object types, individual object and group object. Individual object is used to construct the network topology. Every CANX device has a unique object. It consists of three numbers separated by dots, represent the area, lines, and numbers where the device is located. Group abstract is used to define the functions of CANX network. For example, if a button is practiced, a data will be sent, and all lines on this group abstract will respond to the switch on or switch off. Developers use ETS for CANX installation, including Decide topology architecture, configure device, and monitor bus or group telegram. Let's introduce the CANX protocol. CANX use CMI as the basic protocol for telegram exchange. The structures of the CMI French is shown about picture. We focus on the source address, this address, and APCI. The source address and this address represent where the telegram comes from and where it is going, either physical or group address. The APCI file defines many operations for device configurations and control. There are many types of APCIs, including Group variable read or write, memory read or write, um, device restart, action request, and so on. CANX Next IP is one such protocol which encapsulates the CMIs on the TCP IPs and transport as UDPs below. With a default port is 3671. We can analyze the CANX next IP via Wireshark, such as this packet, which we can see from header file is a routing packet, and we can see the CMI French from body file. This packet is an operation that 2.2.2 reads the 1.1.2's device description. There are two kinds of devices as corpus for CANX next IP, IP interface, and IP router. And CANX IP interface supports CANX next IP tunneling only. 
and KNS IP routers also support KNS Next IP routing. All KNS Grew Abject Telegram receipts by a KNS Next IP routers shall be subject to Grew Abject filtering. We can see the default Grew filtering configurations on the IP routers on ETS. Normally, filtering the group telegrams on main group 0 to 13. For convenience, some developers would be changed the default group filtering configuration. The pictures show the group routing mechanism. When a device with an address of 1.1.2 send a group telegrams on 411s, The device with an address of 2.2.1 will be received this telegram because the Babel Corpus filter table has this entry. Other group telegrams will not be received. Previous sections, we introduced the basic knowledge of KNS. In this section, we will introduce the security models of KNS including KNS secure, current situations, attack surface. In the latest versions, KNS contains security features called KNS secure, it including KNS data secure and KNS IP secure. It ensures a secure communication channels between devices. The ETS 5.5 support these extensions to the KNS standard. KNS data secure increase the APCIs and the payload. So whatever the media selected, the KNS message can be authenticated and encrypted. Like these pictures, the green lines represent the secure communication channels. The KNS IP secure increase the entire KNS Next IP frame. It ensures the security communication between corporates with use KNS Next IP. Although KNS Secure has been released for some time, the attack surface still exists in more KNX network. There are three reasons. And first, some devices still do not support KNS Secure. And second, developers still use earlier versions of ETS as developer software. And in the last, for intelligent buildings that are already in operation, the cost of renovations is relatively high. The KNS attack surface is divided into following the two categories, the weakness of CANS protocol, weak security awareness during installation. The weakness of CANS protocol contains three elements. Traffic is not encrypted and can be sniffed. We can sniff the package to find authentication key or discover the topology. Unable to prevent replay attack, attackers can Play back the package by recording traffic, such as buffer password cracking, operation command replay. If we obtain the authentication key, we can reprogram devices. After that, we can modify the network topologies, redefine the group address, or modify the corporate configurations, and so on. In addition, Developers' weak security awareness is also an attack surface, mainly including no ISO rays in each room, no set authentication key, no encryption, and lack of the asset control in LAN. After analyzing the KNS attack surface, we try to build an environment for testing. The picture is the smaller set of KNS network the connections between device use toy pairs, cables, and Ethernet cable. 
we use ETF files as development software and connect to our computer for KNS installation through the USB interface. This environment uses both KNS Next IP and KNS TP, which we can use to simulate common text. In the environment, we use Siemens device, including IP router, USB interface, power supply, low switch, internal touch sensors, and router. The above list the tools we use during the attack, which we can use to sniff, scan, and send KNS data. Let's start the KNS Next IP first. The first step, we need to enter the land where KNS is located. If the KNS deploy via Wi-Fi, we can use Wi-Fi cracking tool to crack password or try weak password attack. If deploy or a wild network, we can try to find the Ethernet interface or the IP routers or interface, and then connect to the switches to enter the LAN. After enter the LAN, where can it located? The next step is to discover devices and build topology. We can scan the IP routers interface detail in the LAN. There are many tools for discovering such device. As so in next pictures, the IP address can be obtained through ETS, and more information can be obtained through KNS map. The pictures show the copra is the IP routers, and this IP address and individual address and support service we can be obtained. After we obtain the corpus in the lens, we can try to scan the device under the corpus. At the same time, we can monitor the group telegram in each corpus. By cracking the data, we can know or guess the topologies of KNS network, including the numbers of devices in each room the group address of the control and group address to control device. After many attempts to scan and correction days, we can analyze the or get the network topologies in our text environment. The, based on the scan and monitor result, the network topology is as shown in this picture. The whole topology has two IP routers, and each IP router has a device with address of 1.1.2 and 1.2.2, and the device with address of 1.2.2 assigned to group address, one for writing and one for reading. Once we have built the topologies, we can try to the third step, send monitor data to control the KNS device. We can traverse the IP address of the corpus to send the monitor data such as group telegrams to control device or the APCI data to configure device if we obtain the authentication key. In reality, a security research shows how to have the lighting control system in, the, in these hotels, where the hotel's Wi-Fi network. And then he planned his result, uh, research at the 22nd DEFCON conference. Because the KNS network was not isolated, after he connect Wi-Fi, he sniffed the traffic and scanned the topologies of the entire network, and finally achieved an attack. If Ethernet is isolated, what can we do? Maybe we can attack KNS network via KNS TP, this is an attack way described it in the literature. Can we do it in reality? Let us try it. This is our target. Our target is the Marriott Hotel. The hotel is a six-wheeled room, 300 meter high, 
B340 room. And uh, sometimes the hotel deployed the KNS network. At length, we went to the hotels, and in hotel rooms, we found a lot of device used the KNS. You can use KNS smart panel control in your room, including a feature such as light switch, air conditioning temperature, TV switch, music switch, and curtain switch. After a simple test, we found that the hotel network was isolated just to meet the test environment we want. Let's start a text CANX. Because the lens of CANX is isolated, the first step we need to enter the bus bus where the CANX is located. We can look for the device in the room. In the hotels we test, we find the equipment in the rooms by opening the lock or closet. The pictures on the slide shows the device in our room. When, phys when we physical attack KNS device, we can learn about the connections of the device in the room, and we can get the structures of the other room. After that, we can connect our debugging equipment to the room devices by choice peer. We use USB interface as our texting device and start can as a text with tool. After we enter the CANX network, the second step also is discover devices and build topology. We can monitor the group telegrams and bus day, and then we can scan the devices and cooperate online as shown in the pictures, in this hotel, the corporate is an IP router, and we can obtain their IP address and the individual address. Because it's the IP router, we can uh, we have a chance to start next attack. After our monitoring the and scanning, the hotel's topology look like this picture. The hotels use the IP routers as the corporates and share it with two rooms. We are in rooms 101, the light switch and the TV switch assign the following group objects as 9411, 9418, and the group objects in the next room were 9521 and 9426. 28. So, we may get the hotel topology. Because the IP router has group filter table, we cannot, set, we cannot send the group telegrams directly to the other room. We need to modify the group filter tables. We can enable group a uh, program mode if we know the authentication key. So we need to perform cracking authentication key. Fortunately, the CANS network in the hotels doesn't set this key. The default key is FFF. We can directly enable program modes, and then we can configure the future tables of IP routers using the ETS. In these pictures, we add rows group objects to the group future tables. After configure, we can send 9521 telegrams to the other room. After that, we can we can do the final attack. Send a malicious date for attack, triggering all the devices and send dates, such as the group telegrams to control the devices of APCI data to configure device. This is the general process of attacking the KNX network. The first step is to determine whether Ethernet is isolated. And if not, we can stop the attack by cracking LAN. 
After we enter the land, we can discover devices and build topologies, and finally send the data for attack. If if net is isolated, we need to enter the KNS bus physically, and then discover device and build topologies. If we find the corpus as IP routers, we can reprogram device, including modify a corpus of network configuration. Finally, send it for attack. In the final sections, we will provide some security advice on JBIG and CanX network. We hope it will help you improve your building security. Here are some security advice on JBIG. Update network keys regularly. Don't use any well-known security key. Implement custom secure encryptions in the application layer. Here are some security other ones on CanX. Don't explode CanX gateways on public network. Make sure each room is isolated. Ensure network security, including Wi-Fi and switch. Use new device and the latest versions of ETS to implement CanX secure. Thank you for listening. Any questions? <laughs> okay. All right, we have a Q&A sessions over here. Any questions, anyone? Yeah. Uh, first of all, thanks for the talk, which were, was amazing. And the demo was really cool, the thing yeah. fine. <laughs> and one of the security advice there was to um, implement custom encryption. And I'm not sure what you uh, mean by that. Wouldn't like some secure keys exchange mechanism would be better for that? Yeah, exactly. Implement custom secure encryption. Whenever I read custom and encryption in the same sentence, I don't like that much. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's a good question. Sorry. Uh, oh, sure. Oh. Uh, oh, sure. 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 Uh, 呃，命令去控制设备，它可以实现一套自己的在应用层实现一套自己的加密方案。这个加密方案可能是非对称加密，比如说RSA，或者说其他的加密方案，大概是这个意思。What he mean was, maybe the manufacturers can use their own encryptions method, could be like RSA and and anything else. Thank you. Whoop. All right. Um. I just need a clarification. So on the demo where you have the drones that move and shut down the, the lights, uh, that kind of attack is possible because you have a CanX uh, uh, over IP, right? Because if it's CanX over bus, so if it's isolated, you need physical access yeah. via via cable. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I have a question about uh, the Zigbee tools you developed. Are you going to release those? Um, uh, these two uh, now we have we don't have a, a in plan. Um, we don't have a plan to open source this. So uh, maybe later we will do it. Okay. I give you another feedback. So last year at uh, uh, DEFCON, at the Wireless Village, has been uh, presented a, a board that allow you to do uh, reconnaissance, uh, just scanning 
on multiple channel, like on uh, 12 channels, I think, or 14 channels, I don't remember number, concurrently. So you don't need to do like channel opening or you don't need to have like uh, 12 uh, 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 USB sticks plugged into your Raspberry Pi, but it's basically a board that does it automatically in real time on all the channels. So might you want to check it out? Mm. All right, thanks a lot. <laughs> Any more questions? All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.